Okay, guys. Let's get some gas in this here. We put 50 to one. was me starting this MS-261. Well, since then, I've gotten my bag of parts, and um, yeah, so we're gonna start putting this thing back together. Or I'm gonna start putting the thing back together. Um, now, so I bought a 260 
clutch cover. It didn't end up working as well. It, I didn't want to customize it or anything. So uh, I spoke to the dealer that I got this off from and he said he had a very, uh, pretty good condition one in stock that um, was taken off of another saw. And it's got the captive bar nuts, which I was really happy about. And yeah, it's almost new. The outside looks a little warm, but on the inside it looks like very new. So, fits on there nicely. And um, so, this saw is missing a bunch of parts here. Whatever, so. I got the throttle assembly, the handle for the throttle. I got that. The plate for over here. Got that. Um, the little switch to go on top of there. And oh, this is the rest. You got this. It's actually the part that goes here. Here. We got that washer, smith in the washer, and the screw for the plate here. And so I wonder if this comes off. It does not. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on. The chain adjuster. Then I'm gonna take the this off over here, put this on, and washer. And I forget what this is. It's a 3 8 sprocket, so I can run my 20 inch bar that's on my uh, 441. So I'm gonna get that on. And yeah, that's okay. the guys. So. I got the old piece off over here, and you just kind of gotta wiggle it out. I, I just unscrewed it and then popped it out from the bottom with a little screwdriver. So now this should go in there um, smoothly. Hopefully. Seems like it right now. Just gotta align this. light for you guys so I'm pretty sure I gotta push this on but first I'm gonna clean this out over here just like I saw you now I guess uh, this plate has to go on That looks about right. Wait a second. Is there two screws for this? One is to hold this on. Right here. So this has to go over here. And one has to be to hold the plate on. Hmm. So I'm short one screw. I think I can probably find that one screw. Now let's see. It actually moves. It does. That's perfect. So that's working. This plate here, though, that might be a problem because I don't have a screw for that, but I'll probably find one. So next. I get this lock washer off and I actually have kind of a hack I guess for this or an easier way to do it and it's to use these 
and if you can get them in the hole at least, like on different saws it might not fit, but I know that for some saws it will. So you just gotta get it in the holes, and like that, it comes out. At least I find that is pretty easy for me. This bearing seems awfully dry. I think I might grease it up. This saw will start today. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already, but you guys probably won't see it running when it's finished because uh, I think it's negative six outside. It might it might start, but you don't know. It started when it was negative uh, five out. I think. Or no, negative uh, three out. Okay, so I forgot to put the. I don't think there's a right and wrong way to put this on. Pretty sure it's supposed to be like that. But... Then you got the washer. You gotta slide this in, which is my least favorite part, by the way. Especially if it's too soft and gets it right in the finger when you're using a screwdriver. It's not nice. There you go. Almost done. That seems to be good. Okay. I think we can look away from this for a little bit. Even though not all the parts are on yet. And we're gonna come down to this handle. Now we gotta get all this tape off. I don't know where it originates from though. Oops, flew off. I think uh, this is called the uh, operator's presence switch, or my dad uh, calls it a dead man switch. Then this cover seems to just I don't know, snap in place. I think I was supposed to do the other side first. I really don't want to break this. Oh, I got it. Now, let's do it right. I guess you gotta have this cover off. I'm not really sure. Feels like it. Really. I like these uh, screws here, but honestly, very hard to turn. Especially with a the, out of scrunch, they're you know, they're a little harder out of scrunch. Okay.
Well, there you go. That's on. So now, this goes on. That's pretty nice saw. Honestly, it's not bad. Guys, um, as soon as I ended the video about this, I took the the spring for the um, spark rest, spark rest, and it had this screw. And I tried it. Guess what? It worked. So you will see an end to this. Hopefully. Right now. Let's see if I can get it on. Again, the angles are something I'm really trying to work on. Uh, it's just working on a saw like this with like no good angles work on them but no like like in this direction you, it's really hard to work on a saw in this direction and film a nice angle i find but if you guys have any tips feel free to tell me i guess okay doesn't seem too bad and last but not least the clutch cover getting all the parts for this saw I'm either thinking of selling my 260 and keeping this saw or selling this saw and keeping the 260 or selling both but for now this will be at the end I guess I'll try and start it for you guys I'm just gonna open the Crash door a little bit. So, if and when it does start, it doesn't make too much or as much noise. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.